in question, on question number 41, I would like to find the derivative of the function g of t is equal to t cubed plus 3t squared plus t divided by t cubed. All right, so the temptation on this problem might be, hey, this is a quotient, so why don't I just use the quotient rule? And I think that that's a bad direction to go. You certainly could, okay? So you can use the quotient rule on this problem. It is a quotient, so to take the derivative, you can use the quotient rule, but it might be more work than you need to do. And the reason I say that is right off the bat, I see, oh, wait a second, I could break this thing up into three separate fractions because all of these things on top are divided by t cubed. So I could rewrite this function as t cubed over t cubed plus 3t squared over t cubed plus t over t cubed. All right. Uh, so now this is my function. And I could rewrite that again. So g of t is equal to, well, t cubed over t cubed is what? Uh, 1. Uh, 3t squared over t cubed is 3 over t. Two of the t's cancel, and I just get 3 over t. And t over t cubed is plus 1 over t squared. Now, I could write that uh, in a different way again, and that is, well, 1 is still 1. 3 over t could be written as 3t to the negative 1, and 1 over t squared could be written as t to the minus 2. Okay? Now I'm ready to take a derivative, because now everything here is just a power rule problem. I don't have to use any quotient rules, any product rules. I just have to use the power rule. And that's about as easy as it gets when it comes to derivatives. So let's do it. I get g prime of t is equal to the derivative of zero, 1 is 0. The derivative of 3t to the minus 1. Well, I bring the minus 1 down, and I get minus 3 times t to the minus 1 minus 1. So minus 2. And then the derivative of t to the minus 2 is minus 2t. So I brought down the minus 2, minus 2t, to the minus 2 minus 1, or minus 3. And so here's my derivative. If you don't really like negative exponents, that's fine. We could rewrite it. We could say that g prime of t is equal to negative 3 divided by t squared minus 2 over t cubed. And both of these are correct. So I'll just box in this one because it's the pretty answer. Okay.